I pray against all monitoring spirits. Anywhere on my channel and anywhere in my life, all of them, in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus. Okay, that, that me, the name of Jesus is more powerful. You know what I'm saying? He got me, first of all. But for me, to, he's, he's pulling away very quickly. And the camera is facing me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I prayed against that. And God is good. You know, first of all, God opened my eyes. Uh, there was uh, someone who did a video. And the man said exactly what it was that I was going through. And he said, you know, it's because the enemy is attacking you right now. And that's why God sent me to give you this message. Uh, okay, let's just get back to the message. <laughs> the enemy is attacking you right now. And he went into great detail about monitoring spirits and that he, he went into um more detail about other names that you could call it um i liked the monitoring spirits because for me that is exactly what it is now the fact that he said that um excuse me no sir the fact that he said that they are trying to attack you or they are attacking you. That's what he said, they are attacking you. And as he was saying it, I was like, I was like, yes, they are. You know what I'm saying? Like as I was, I was in the bathroom and I had went into the restroom inside of this person's home um, and he was in the living room and I went into the restroom and there, you can't, if you turn on the light in the restroom, it's a loud fan. So I had to turn off the light and then try to listen to what the man was saying and my headphones done went out but he was saying something very uh important because you know spiritually when you have someone that's um okay you're living in their house right with my situation of who i am uh in america uh you you're in someone's home and there it's a, it's set up a certain way to where it's like someone is always there to monitor you. But it makes it look like you're uh, in their home, like they're helping you. And, and, and that's that was the whole situation for the setups of people to put me in the situation to where they could have monitoring spirits around me, you know? And it, it's the perfect setup for that. Um, because people know that they should not be harassing someone. And, uh, you know, when you're by yourself, of course you, you're going to uh, notice the things that people do around you. Uh, you don't know exactly where those people come from. Uh, you don't know who they know, but you know that they are monitoring you. But it's not necessarily even that because, but it is. That's the main thing because they can do all kinds of stuff when they see you. They can... Uh, try to talk to you, get information, and he said they, they, they're doing it because they want to destroy you. They want to destroy you. You know, it's, it's not for a good reason, and it's a man right here, uh, parked over here, trying to monitor me, another man walking up behind me, trying to monitor me, and he was saying they want to wait till they get you at your weakest. They got somebody always around you uh, that can monitor your every movement, uh, and, and then they can get information about every little thing that you do. And, you know, at first, I'm not going to lie. I did knew that I had some enemies and things like that, you know. Um, I did already tell you guys about people wanting to kill me, okay? So, I'm not going to go into that, but, you know, on my other channel, I took it pretty hard because I was like, oh, you know, um, showing the stuff that people were doing, the games and filming stuff that people were doing, um, you know, women, all kind of people. And I'm like, you have no business bothering me. And you have no business uh, always trying to have somebody 
out there, like, you know, watching everywhere. So I, I'll tell you a little bit about the monitoring. Uh, people, it's always going to be somebody that's always trying to uh, come out and see what you're doing, what you're seeing, everything. And I, I've, I've made this very clear on my other channel, and I proved it as well. So I, I've seen some cases before, but as far as I'm concerned, when he prayed against it, excuse me, I, I don't want to talk, sir. Um, when he prayed against it, that's exactly what it was because, and I had to step out of the house just to listen uh, to it. And I was like, thank you, Jesus, like hallelujah, because you don't ever know these people. You don't never know that person. And they are waiting for the moment to just fuck you over. And it is so true. Um, let me just keep it real for myself. It's my experience because I'm the one in the situation. They just, uh, they, they wait for the moment to uh, try to fuck you over. <laughs> Put it like that, basically. And it, it's always something really bad when there's that many people um, involved, like wherever you go. So at the end of the day, it's not about fear. Um, it's not about being afraid of them um, because they didn't want to be exposed anyway. So the fact that they're continuing to do it I'm like, like I said, my son better be alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the fact that they did lie about my pregnancy and everybody know how long I've been pregnant and abuse and all of that, okay. But at the end of the day, I already told y'all why they doing it. So, you know, as far as this man praying, it was like such a breakthrough for me because they had sent people, like I said, there was people that was close to my heart. Like when I got out of the jail, you know, there's people that, that, I, that I really felt like was close to my heart and they was over there trying to monitor me. Uh, they had a monitoring spirit. And and you and I was like, oh no wonder why they didn't want to be exposed. You know what I'm saying? Because who woo, how many people want to be exposed as uh like you just a lame like who you 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 bothering somebody or you snitching on someone else about their every movement. That is pathetic. You know and then it's really just a plot. It's a main ultimate plot um, that people have uh, for a particular person. And at the end of the day, when he prayed about it, I was just like, you know, I, I knew that that's when you just gotta trust God and you gotta move around from people. You just can't, you can't, but like he was saying, trust God and let the Lord handle the situation. And the way he prayed over it, he, it, it, it was like God is gonna completely destroy all the power and he, he have already destroyed it he have destroyed it because they still swarming around me right now doing it and, and they not just coming out of the uh, apartments and uh, turning down the street they are swarming out of the apartments around here but I'm not about to be sitting over here filming them because that's not what I came outside for I came outside to listen to the message because they have someone in the home who is monitoring me and although he could say, oh, I'm just helping her out and she cool and we this and we that, no, no, it ain't that kind of situation. And it's gonna be that kind of situation wherever I go because this has gone too far. So they're gonna continue to try to prey upon that and keep making me have to be into someone trying to monitor me right now. So it's, it's a spirit. But you gotta understand, I already told you about the Antichrist spirit and the demonic possession and everything like that. And that's really what it is. But it is a monitoring spirit. And it's really sad. It's really sad that America is that racist that they all really sit there and think they are gonna swarm around me all the time when I come out of the house because you got a person monitoring you in the house. So let me go back to the beginning of this. Um, as far as I can remember, I remember having to walk like this around my sister's home. Uh, my sister, Shakina. Because she was telling me that I needed to get a job while I was trying to get people to confirm my pregnancy um, and help us. And so I started walking around her neighborhood. And I noticed there were some strange people my, like around me and then there was a guy who came up to me inside of the Walmart when I was going to buy food and 
he tried to befriend me. He did support. He tried to, and he invited me somewhere with him one day, and I went with him, and he tried to slam me down and rape me. Uh, he tried to slam me down and rape me in someone's home. He had a travel bag. So he said that there were some Hispanic couple. He said it's two Hispanic couples. Oh uh, no, he said it's one Hispanic couple, a man and a woman house. Whoo, hallelujah. I had a vision. Something got in my eye, but that's good. Oh no, no, sir. I'm good, baby. Okay, so now I gotta go get a knife to just walk outside. Cause he's over here trying to start a fight, but he, he ran up on me and that's why God let something hit my eye and I turned around. So something hit my eye when I was walking under the tree. No one was walking behind me for miles. And then I turned like this to wipe my eye. I was like, and, he, and I'm glad I turned a little bit. And then I seen this big old swole black man trying to follow me thank you jesus and then he over there trying to they wanted to try to talk to you and i've been telling them i've been said on my other youtube channel when they removed it it was way more information on there but i trust in the lord and they're gonna try to make it seem like oh well how is everybody from town to town messing with you because it's America and they're racist and yes they're gonna get your own to try to come out there and start mess with you yeah I'm smoking yeah I'm pregnant so he know what he trying to do for the government I'm not interested because I don't have to be nice to you y'all trying to fucking set me up what the fuck I gotta be nice to you for that's the nicest I can fucking be his big ass think he gonna sit over there and try to pop off on me why I ain't nigga I don't wanna talk to you oh no honey I'm good and that's what it is. I'm telling all of them to leave me alone because they're trying to monitor me. You how many motherfuckers just talk to me and it ain't because of my dress. Oh, that's a pretty dress. It ain't got nothing to do with my dress. You want to kill Andrea Jones and you need to back the fuck off of me. Now, I ain't going to say it while he over there thinking he's going to beat up on me and this baby Why I ain't got nothing to protect myself. Okay? Nah, I ain't going to be a fool and now he disappeared. Nah, ain't no, oh, they just want to talk to you. No fucking way. Nah. So let me go back to what I was saying. Thank you, Jesus. Because those are the monitoring spirits, you know, and they think they're going to try to be nice to somebody. So let me go back to someone trying to slam me down and rape me when he come up behind me trying to fight me and this baby. So at Shakina's house, my sister since a thug wanna try to come up and try to start a fight with me or try to uh, act like he was just trying to talk to me to harm me. How about I get a little fucking angry, a little fucking bit? Cause I still pregnant with my baby motherfucker. And I was pregnant when I went to Shakina's house. And let me calm down cause they hurt my belly. And then they think they're gonna be acting like, oh, Andrea crazy. You ain't seen fucking crazy. Ain't gonna have you black men out here threatening me. Cause motherfucker wanna sit there and cover for some white people. I said in fucking no way. And I'm glad that shit got exposed. And don't erase it. So back to someone trying to rape me and I'm gonna calm down. Because they all know I'm a good woman and I'm a woman of God. They are Satanist. I got more sense and know how to behave more than them. And I ain't got to try to prove I'm hard to no big ass fucking man that I already know what time it is if I got to deal with you. Now I can walk with my child and tell my business without having to carry a weapon. So you, the monitoring spirits, your power is broken. And I, I, I would like to have my gun. If that's what you're going to be doing to me and this baby. And I don't want to hear shit. Like God said, if Andrea have to protect herself again, 
Ain't no she gotta go to get uh, booked in no fucking where. Because y'all know what y'all trying to do. So let me finish that they've been doing this since I was in the jail. And see, I just walked down the street. He's trying, people trying to monitor me all over. Just, I, they're Satanists. So that's why I'm not going to get angry. Uh, I'm not, because it's not worth what they're going to have to pay. All right. So at my sister's house, Shakina, I told her that I was pregnant. And like I said, I ended up going to this man's house from a Walmart by her home. He come running up to me. And it's a man, all, they all sitting all up in front of here, all around, every time I go somewhere. And in this direction where I went, they got this man over here trying to run up on me while I'm trying to tell about this. And then they got the man in the apartment and he's listening to everything. And if I gotta go and get a fucking weapon, like, because they mad because I won't let you distract me from telling the truth. You know, that, and it's black men, but I told you it's demonic possession. And, and, and it's Satanism. And that's why I told you that Satan was white. And that's why I told you what God said about the condemnation for black people in America. You can try to harm me all you want to, but it's not by his hand. It's not from God. I can tell you that. So let me just go back towards this area. Um, of, of somewhat of safety because if I need to protect myself I will try to have access to something but I'm not going to have to be forced to be somewhere where someone's monitoring me and then it's coming back to me when you're a trauma victim and they think they're just going to keep doing it then they want you to forget about all of the things that they have done and that's why they don't want to ever let you get by yourself so you can write down what's really going on they want to rape a child so I need somewhere where I can be alone I don't have time for the rest of the Americans you, you understand that level of conversation so he brought me and this is what they want to do try to harass me and that's the black woman tried to run me over with her car trying to harass me. So the man brought me into, no, he didn't, he asked me if I wanted to go inside the home and I said no. He told me that he was just, we were going for a ride or something. And he come to this house and said it was a Hispanic couple house. When I said I had the vision, thank you, Father God. When I was in the jail, I had a vision from Father God that there would be Hispanic women uh, uh, who would bring me into homes and in Texas um, they were not necessarily always in the home but their spirits were in the home God was showing me that their spirits were in the home because of the, the males that were involved in the homes that they were bringing me into and the Holy Spirit showed me Hispanic women bringing, uh, letting me in or whoever bring me into a room or something and have me in there with like just snacks, no real food, knowing I was pregnant, and then trying to set me up to have to be outside. But I guess waiting, I, uh, trying to have me out there fucked up where I didn't have nothing. And in order for a person to really be outside, sleeping on outside, where somebody can actually shoot them. I love beautiful birds, I always blow kisses at them. Where somebody can actually shoot them, that takes some strategic type of shit because I'm not no crazy person, you know? So that means you gotta have a number of people constantly pretending to help you and then taking you somewhere and sabotaging you and sabotaging you and waiting for that one fucking moment to where they feel like, oh, ooh, she finally ain't got nothing, she gonna be fucked up and we gonna have her ass out there. You know what I'm saying? And this is organizations, shelters, and places like this that's involved. I'm not, I'm not, the people, whatever. I've been doing that was like that. But the organizations, you know, that's ridiculous. So um, it's a monitoring spirit right there in the name of Jesus. So I had the visions of these women and, uh, set, and men setting me up outside. Um, and then trying to have the men partying with me and being nice to me, you know, kind of how what they trying to do. Because there have been some that was doing what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? And I might have uh, thought that I was having a good time with the guy, but God showed me, and he showed me a whole party of them. Like, it's go like a whole gang of them. 
in Atlanta. A whole fucking gang of them. And he showed me men from Hollywood uh, trying to come up and shoot me outside. So y'all see, I've been struggling to tell my whereabouts and then showing how I really am when people are supposedly not fucking bothering me. And it's a strong tactic to have they so-called victim all distraught and all that bullshit. But I'm not a victim because the Lord has broken it all in the name of Jesus. So, at this Hispanic girl's house, now the man is calling me who uh, brought me to this man home. And like I said, I'm not doing nothing. I might got my hair, baby, that's nothing. I'm, I, 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 need, I, I'm, I know what I'm doing. So, back to this man bringing me to this Hispanic couple's house. He said it was a Hispanic couple's house around Shakina's home. And I had the vision about the Hispanic women in the jail, but I also had a vision about them in uh, Houston when I was at Lamarcus Sanders. Or, uh, no, James Devon Harris, one of the men in Houston, one of the men in Houston brought me somewhere, and the Holy Spirit came over me, and God was like, Andrea, what is these women doing in the home? I think it was with James Devon Harris. What is these women doing in the home? He kept, he was just saying in general, why are these men now bringing you into homes where it's all these women in here? God was like, it's a setup. It's a setup. And that's all they was trying to do was tear me down and wait until they felt like, oh, she don't have any money or whatever. It was a tactic. Like I even had people spend money, like put me in situations so they kept fucking up anything that I had. Any job, anything that I had, I had a job when I first got out. They kept fucking up everything and then trying to put me out. And so it really wasn't clicking with me exactly because I remember what God showed me after a while once I saw the pattern and how viciously certain people were trying to pull it off. But then if they think you're going to be straight, then they'll try to play it off. You know what I'm saying? And I spent a lot of time by myself in motels, hotels, because I been knew what it was. I been knew when people let them do me and my baby like that in the jail and say they was gonna do those things to my child, then I knew already what time it was when I got out. I knew that it was gonna be a fight. I knew that nobody was not really gonna be on my side, but humble enough to be like, my God gonna turn it around for me. So I ain't never had trust in nobody, and they knew that. And they, that's why you have to have vulnerable, vulnerable people, where you know they just gonna have to go along with everybody's plan of trying to set this person up. And God knew that I was gonna have to go along with it because he knew everybody was involved. Because they wouldn't even left me back there letting the people do that to me and this baby. But in talking about that, doing that to my child. So, I'm glad that the Lord showed me that they were going to hell, first of all. Oh, hallelujah. I don't mean to say that, Father God, like that, but thank you, Lord Jesus, that he did show me that they will have punishment. But let me go back, because the man did pray. But I also want God, I also know that God has broken their power. So let me go back to the rape. And see, I got to get somewhere and just start writing everything down. And I've been telling myself that. And they're monitoring this channel uh, to try to have the people who are monitoring me wherever they pick me up and bring me to. Uh, let me tell you something about uh, the Freemason, uh, Aaron, that uh, brought me to uh, the whole motel. Uh, he, uh, he, his internet service will also not allow me to have any videos. I said that on the last one. In the last four locations, uh, Victor Golden's house, Aaron, uh, this Hampton, and this apartment where I am right now, there has not been any access for me to load videos. And so that will make me have to walk around and load my videos, but that's fine with me. But you know what? Another thing is it's a monitoring spirit because you, you're in someone else's home. But see, that's what, the, I, I, let me say something deeper about the monitoring spirit because um, they had people move into the apartment building. 
1308 Houston Street, apartment 3, Conroe, Texas 77301. There was a white woman that was standing beneath me, and there was a white man that was standing beneath me, and there was a, his white wife and his white baby. And they were standing beneath me, and I had a black neighbor who stayed upstairs next to me, and it was only four units and something that was renovated and old and that was leased by Keller Williams. I got that through uh, Michelle, uh, and it was leased through Trace Bonds. Um, so I had this apartment, and I noticed, so the white woman downstairs, she moved out really quickly. I was pregnant with my son when I moved in, by the way. So this this predatory this this predatory behavior was really kicking in uh, even more because the police people were uh, being very predatory. So um, next thing you know, uh, the other white lady husband, something happened with them. Now that I know everything about them staging stuff and lying about shit, I'm t I'm just telling you all of this shit is bullshit. So then they moved out, and then um, all of a sudden. Two new people moved in and they were black people and they were harassing me. Uh, so the woman downstairs moved in and she was very big bone and she come to my house asking for something, didn't return it, cool. And then she tried to argue with me about a parking spot and I, was, I, I, I wasn't I was gonna move or anything. And I turned around and my belly was protruding and I was about to give birth. And she said, oh my goodness, I didn't know you were pregnant. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, what did you think you were gonna do to me if I weren't? You, you know, I've been staying here. You're a new tenant. And yes, I am pregnant. So that was my parking spot next to the staircase. And that's not the way for you to greet a new neighbor. And so the man who moved in next to her was a black man who was harassing me at my job at Taco Bell. He was trying to get with me. And all of a sudden he was moving in. And I had monitoring spirits, people harassing me all over the neighborhood. Mexican men chasing me around, black people, they were chasing me, monitoring me, uh, but it was wicked. They were they had people downstairs in the homes who were harassing me and doing skits and all sorts of things. And uh, then there were people who were coming into my home trying to monitor me as well. Um, and you know, these spirits take you off guard. It is very wicked because you should not try to uh, befriend someone with a wicked motive. I have never done this. I have never ever done this. I have never moved in somewhere to monitor someone, but God did say that there were people with charges. And, I, and I, because a lot of times you could panic, but when he said that to me, people have charges, uh, something about the devil's children. So I don't know, you know, what all is concerned with that, but I guess people can kind of just run around crazy. They're really criminals uh, who uh, would love to terrorize someone else, you know, because they're criminals. But back to the Hispanic woman's house. Oh, he's trying to act like he's gonna hit me. <laughs> so anyway, they're trying to distract me. And you know, I'm not afraid of them. My God is bigger than them. I love my God. So I wouldn't trade him for the world. I wouldn't trade him for anything that they have. I wouldn't trade them for their funky little situation. Because they that's why they need to terrorize mine because they're in the pickle. But anyway, Back to what this Hispanic man did, because he, there are these people do want to murder me, and they they did threaten to murder my child, and I'm not afraid of them, so I'm gonna tell. So from my sister's by my sister's house, the man brought me to the Walmart. So now I'm gonna have to go and write a list, and you see why I'm gonna have to go and write the list, and the man is gonna be in there um, monitoring me. I don't have to look fine all the time. If I want to wait and do some evidence, but that's okay because they're going to prey on that. They're going to prey on that. If you're working on your evidence and you're just doing something that really needs to be told, they're going to have somebody in there trying to yap, yap, yap. And it's not like you need to have them yapping at you all the time. If you say somebody can come stay with you, you don't have to stop them from being productive with things that they need to do. And then they're trying to make it as if, oh, she needs to focus on getting a job. No, I do not. There is information about people that are trying to murder me and I need to get the information and the evidence out like my God said and go out there and he said see if my baby is alive and he said that he better be alive so I'm about to Conroe, Texas 
Magnolia, Texas, I'm going. And so they're going to try to sabotage me in Atlanta, these wicked people. And, you know, I already seen them do it to me all over America. So I know that they're not my friends. I know these people don't care about me. I know none of the people in the office care about me. I know none of the police care about me because they wouldn't even be doing an operation. And my family don't care about me. Nobody that bring me around into the house care about me. But guess what? My God care about me. So back to the situation about the man trying to rape me over in Channel View where Shekinah was staying. So I went to Shekinah's house and there was another man that tried to force me to have sex with him before that too and they put me in that situation and another man so i'm gonna tell the information because they shouldn't have did that to me i wasn't that kind of woman and this is why god showed me the lake of burning sofa because he ain't let it go down the way y'all wanted it to and like i said my baby better be alive but what you wanted for me to so y'all will go try to set it up. They tried to make me go with a man from the jail. And I ain't gonna cry, cause that's why I need to write it down. And I'm gonna go right in there and write it down. And I'll tell you if I have any problems. I know I need to get myself together. But I ain't gotta be putting on no fucking show for no goddamn body. But see, people wanna prey on you when you trying to do that evidence. And they want to try to hurry up and get you out because they know they ain't got you here for no goddamn good reason. They trying to harm you, to stop you from telling. And there's so many damn wicked witches, it don't make no goddamn sense. People keep pulling up on me and they trying to act like they just in the area. Nah, that's not what's up. So the man, he, he said, do you want to go into the Hispanic couple house? And I said, no. Told you he ran up to me in the Walmart while I was shopping. I said, no, I don't want to go into the Hispanic couple house. And he was like, come on, come on, please, come on. And I was like, no, I don't want to go in there. And he said, well, I'm going inside. Uh, I, want, I said, I don't want to have sex with you. And he was like, uh, well, I'm going in for, for a second. You want some water or something to drink? And then I was like, if I come inside, I don't want to have sex with you. And I knew I was pregnant. And I was like, I don't want to have sex with you. And he was like, all right. And so I went inside with him. And he said the Hispanic couple went home and that they let him come stay with them, that he was from out of town. And he put his, um, he had a suitcase um in the, like i think a black suitcase and i think he said he was from louisiana i don't know but he might have lied i don't know but he wasn't from texas and so i was like oh okay i was like um you know not really picking up on the fact that what was like going on and so he's he went and asked me if i wanted alcohol and i knew i was pregnant so I was like, no, I don't want alcohol. And he was like, oh, okay, you don't drink? You don't want to drink? And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. And then so um, he was like, well, but I was smoking the cigarettes because of the abuse and everybody lying about it and hurting me. Like, So after they kept lying, I, I ended up smoking. And there was people around me that was smoking. When I started smoking, people that they had me around. So. I was trying to get help for my pregnancy. I wasn't smoking. And they wouldn't help. They just kept abusing me. And so, try, like, I, let's, let's just go into the details of the man trying to rape me. So, because there was another one and another one, and they just, that's how it was. And I, I'm glad that I told. I'm glad that I just got angry and said they, they was letting them try to rape me and my son. They, let him, they said they were raping me and my son. And I'm glad that I got angry, but I can't get emotional. Cause I over that now. I did enough of that. I said I wasn't gonna do. I didn't shed a tear, but I got emotional. So the man say, "Uh, he give me water to drink." And I go to use the restroom, and he tell me, oh, they letting me sleep downstairs, and that's the bathroom, and they away, and everything. And I'm like, okay. And then he said, he's a black man, dark skin, like light brown, I don't care. Yeah, they all different colors, they, you know. But let's just go to what happened. 
And so he tried to get me up against the wall. And I'm like, no, like, I don't want, you know, I don't want to. And I already told him no before I came into the house. And then he keep trying to go into my pants and everything. And uh, he, I like, no, getting him off of, trying to get him off of me, but he took my body and he dragged me, tried to drag me onto a pallet on the floor. And I was like, no, I don't want to be on the pallet on the floor with you. I told him that before when I saw him lay it down. And then he was like, you're going to um, get down or I'm going to slam you down. And I knew I was pregnant, and I was the first thing I think I can. It was a hard floor. I was like, I cannot let this man slam me down. I met him in the grocery store. While I was trying to get food for my baby because there wasn't food at my sister's at Shakina's house. And so um, they stopped my food stamps when I got to her house, and I had only had them on for like a month. And they stole them too. Well, they spent them, and so. I said, no, don't slam me on the ground. And I started to pretend like, I don't know, maybe I would give it to him and just chill out for a second. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. I'm going to go outside and smoke a cigarette. And he was like, no, you can smoke it in here. I'm going to slam you down. You can smoke it outside on the porch by my dogs. And I was like, no, I'm going to smoke it in the front. And then he was like, uh-uh, no. He tried to stand in front of the door. And I stood right there. And then he said, he said he stood in front of the door. He was like, no, don't, you know, you cannot go outside. And I was like, yeah, I'm going out to smoke this cigarette. And I'll come back inside. And then I was like, come with me. Come smoke the cigarette with me. And then so I managed to talk him out to letting me out, but I barely, he barely wanted to. And I'm like, man, I might have, to. I didn't want to struggle with him to get out. I know I'm pregnant. I knew I was pregnant. And so he, he came outside, like he hurried up and tried to put clothes on different, I don't know. And I go outside and I see some white woman walking out there. And see, now I know everybody already knew what he was doing. Every operation that they try to do it with someone to harm me, everyone else already knew that they want to harm me, but they are just trying to act normal and do like sets, like Hollywood. But anyway, but harm you, to harm you. And so, ah, thank you, Jesus Christ. The man, uh, I went outside and saw a white woman, and I was like, I'm gonna go walk out in the distance towards where she at. And I'm gonna stand out there, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go close to her, but I'm gonna get away from the house, you know? Cause she walking past all normal, so I walked towards her direction to get away from him, but I didn't go to her. And so when I did that, he was like, oh, come back, come back inside. Come on, come back inside. Cause I'm like, oh, it's gonna be witnesses to what he trying to do. And he like, come back inside, come back inside, come on. And I'm like, no, I don't want to come back inside. And then he, I was like, I'll sit outside until you're ready to go. If you're gonna take me, cause I didn't, I wasn't gonna get back in the car. I would get away from him, but I, I didn't want him to try to hurt me. And he was looking like he would try. And so then he started trying to act normal, and we get inside of the car, and he started trying to speed and intimidate me, and talking about, are you gonna let me take you to the motel tonight and fuck you? Are you gonna let me take you to the motel tonight and fuck you? I'm like, no, I don't want to. And I was standing in my sister's house. And I was like, no, I don't want to. And so the man said, like at first, I wouldn't have talked to the man, really. But he ran up to me when I was at the store and I was already getting some very cold shoulders. And I, I, I felt like, okay, what if God had sent someone that might would help me? And no, it was not the case. And so the man, ended up dropping me off, but that was the first, that, that he wasn't the first one who tried it, but he tried to rape me.